Recently, I visited an orphanage in Kenya. However, it was not a normal orphanage. All the residents had four legs and trunks. Here we see the smaller ones coming in for their milk and mud bath. This orphanage is part of the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, which was founded in 1977 by Dame Daphne Sheldrick in memory of her late husband, David Sheldrick. <laughs> As you can see, the older ones can be a bit more energetic and are brought in separately. And like human children, show little moments of independence, like Shukuru here, who insists on holding her own bottle, despite losing considerable amounts of milk. Elephants have a rapid metabolism and need regular feeding. At the orphanage here, they are fed bottles of milk every three hours 24-7 and the baby elephants are milk dependent for the first three years of life before weaned onto vegetation. Dame Daphne was the first person to perfect the milk formula to help these little babies survive. Watching the Ellies playing in the mud is just amazing. They love it and have all of us laughing along with them as they frolic and yahoo in the sticky red mud. Aside from being lots of fun, the mud bar serves a critical purpose to protect their skin from the harsh African sun where the heat and UV radiation can be deadly. Romping in the mud like this little fellow cools them down and provides a protective layer to shield their bodies from the sun's rays. Kenya's elephant populations are threatened as they struggle against ivory poaching as well as a loss of habitat due to human population pressures and conflict, as well as deforestation and drought. Despite losing their mothers and extended families, the elephant orphans adjust to their human equivalent, the keepers, as well as with their fellow orphans. Elephants, like human children, are very touchy-feely, and as you can see as they play in the mud here, there is constant communication with, with each other, mostly with their trunks and noses and bodies. Newcomers often arrive in a saddened state, but the other orphans quickly gather around and the sheer joy of living wins through. After their mud bath, the keepers escort them back into Nairobi National Park, where they play and forage until late afternoon, when they return to the safety and security of the nursery. Infant elephants are particularly vulnerable to psychological despair having lost their mothers and natural family. And this aspect of hand rearing elephants is just as crucial as a physical aspect. It is for this reason that the keepers are rotated daily to avoid strong attachments forming with just one person. The baby elephant could be plunged into grieving again when his favorite keeper needs to take time off. Elephants are tactile and highly social animals. They care about their family members, reassuring and supporting them via sounds and touch. The keepers also do this by voice and feel to demonstrate heartfelt affection. As you can see here was little Naipoki, who is just nine months old. He is using his trunk, affectionately caressing his keeper as he feeds, just like human infants. The Maasai say that the elephant is the only animal that has a soul and that elephants can read a person's heart and mind. So it is important that such affection is sincere and not just pretend. We could learn so much from these gorgeous little babies. When the baby Ellies leave the nursery, they go to stockades in Savo National Park where they start their long and slow reintegration program back into the wild. To date, the Trust has successfully hand-reared over 150 infant elephants and effectively reintegrated the orphans back into the wild herds of Savo, claiming many wild-born calves. You will, of course, have heard 
that elephants have an amazing memory, which is of course very true. And Dame Daphne tells many heartwarming stories of fully wild ex-orphans returning to the stockades in times of illness or injury and standing quietly while the keepers help them or members of their herd. Many of the female ex-orphans also come back to show off their newborn wild calves to their old human family. Not too far removed from human behaviour, is it? My visit to the elephant nursery was a truly wonderful and uplifting experience, which has left a smile on my face and absolute joy in my heart. It is a truly wonderful place.